Hey everyone, so welcome back to my channel once again. It's great to have you guys all here. So today I got sent this Soval 3D SL1 resin curing machine. So I'm gonna get this unboxed, take a look at it, and uh, see what's inside. Okay, everyone, so here's all the pieces that it comes with. You have the turntable, power adapter, and the curing light. There you have it right there. Power adapter goes right in here. On off switch. And you have the controls. So let's get this plugged in and take a look at this. Okay, so we're all plugged in. So if we just power it on, you can see it lights up. And this is all just touch screen. So you have two minutes, four minutes, six minutes. And according to the manual, it says that suggested curing times for small pieces, two to four minutes, medium, large, four to six, four to eight, four to 10. So, I'm actually going to get a model printed and then we'll actually test this out and see how well it works. So one thing I'd like to point out is this turntable. It'll rotate, but to make it rotate, you kind of just have to give it a little turn real quick and then it keeps going. Same with if you go the other direction and that'll just keep spinning. If you can hear that, it kind of, something's in there rattling and I'm not quite sure what that is, but it works and it rotates, so that's a plus. Okay guys, so I'm back. I printed out this little gazebo looking guy and I thought it looked pretty cool, so I decided to print it. So I'm gonna let the rest of the resin drip off. I'm gonna put it in this cure station and let's see how well this actually works and, and does it. So I'll get this scraped off, put on, I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here's the print. You can see it's still wet. So I'm just gonna put this on the build plate. And as you can see, it's rotating just like it's supposed to. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this lid on. And now I'm not quite sure what justifies for for medium or small or large quantity is, but we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna put this at a time limit of six minutes and say it's large. So we'll just go ahead and hit start. It's rotating. The UV lights are curing it. So we're gonna come back in six minutes and see how this turns out. Okay, everyone, so the six minutes is up on this machine. I'm just gonna go ahead and turn it off. We'll take the lid off and let's take a look at this. So, yes, this is fully cured. I think it came out really nice. You can see all the detail. It still looks shiny, even though it's not wet at all. It's perfectly dry. But yeah, I think this is a great machine. It works perfectly and it only took six minutes. So definitely a bonus. You can see this is still spinning. It's apparently got a mind of its own, but that's okay. It doesn't really bother me. It can spin forever for all I care, but kudos to this machine. 
So overall, do I like this machine? Yes, I do. I think this works a lot better than the shoebox light box that I had to cure the resin in the past, which I just used a shoebox with some tin foil wrapped inside with a UV light pointed on top. Not really ideal as it doesn't really spin like this does, but it, it worked for the most part. But for the price point for this, I think this is $38.99. So it's under $40. And I think I spent $40 on just the light itself, not to mention having to make it. And that was just a waste of time. But this resin curing machine by Solval 3D, definitely a good feature to have if you're doing a lot of printings and, and stuff like that. If you print a lot, pick up one of these or something similar. But for me, this one worked just great. I'm happy to be able to use this now for future projects. So guys, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below, ring the bell, get notified of all the new videos that come out each week. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.